Hi there, welcome to Double One Geek, it is I, Saz, and we're back with some more Project Zomboid Black Summer. Now, that large group I was worrying about, they've suddenly reappeared. And we're hopefully going to deal with them now. Whoop. Good peripheral spotting there. No, he's not the last one. Two more to go. Three more to go. Oh, four more to go, even. Hopefully that's the last one. Just let me just check around these trees. Well, the, the music tells me so. The music was lying. Bet we have zombies on the other side of the wall here. Right, let's uh, have a look at this. Do we have VHS Florida Vacation? Okay. It's one of the first VHSs I've seen. Uh, Make snare trap. Let's grab that. Not too sure if we're going to end up being able to do uh, trapping, but hey. Take the canned carrots as well. Okay. So no look on the advanced uh, carpentry book, which we kind of need. We need to kind of get to level seven, I think it is, on carpentry. I generally tend to say after that point, it tends to be a little bit of a waste of time to try going any further than that. Unless they've changed it around a bit. So level 7 gives you the best um, quality fencing. Which means it's going to uh, keep zombies out for longer. And whilst I'm trying not to go too far into the further down the story and further chapters, I am going to need to base out. So... Uh, That's why I'm prepping myself. That uh, ambulance might be quite interesting. It may have some form of... Uh, oh. You may hear my cat in the background deciding to meow for no reason whatsoever because he's already been fed. Last episode I kind of got into a bit more and uh, went a bit longer than usual. Try to keep things down to 15 minutes a spread. Is that building burnt down? 
That's probably why the ambulance might be there, perhaps. We'll have to deal with this group, though. Make sure no one else is around. a bit long. Oh, it must be a bread knife. Always mistake a bread knife for a machete. There you go, bread knife it was. Deal with these guys. Oh, there you go. That'd be so embarrassing if I ever got killed off by a. Oh. By a crawler. friend over here. Looks like we might have a few inside the, the building as well. Nice hat, love. Sorry about your life. church by the looks of it. Which means I'm going to have an issue. So I'm going to have to maybe run back a bit. Use the the van as a small blocking manoeuvre. First one down. Time for the slower ones to turn up. Just draw this. Uh, oh. Woof. Where the hell did they come from? It's not safe in Muldraw, you know. Uh -huh. 
Man. Never need those beta blockers. And I'm tired. And the big question is, is it safe for me to uh, sleep in one of these uh, these buildings? to find out, isn't there? Now, of course, all the zombies will have moved around. The temperature's actually getting warmer. Is that me or...? Right, do we have... I think I may have already done this place. So let's just take some time for ourselves. And uh, I, open, I found some canned carrots. So let's open these carrots. Hold on. Oh, some stuff has been left on the table. That's cool. Of fog has to set in, doesn't it? And of course, zombies, for some strange reason, have perfect sights. Actually, this may not be the cleverest thing that I've ever done in my life. I see a, a zombie down here. Maybe two. Yeah. Three. See what this is all about. This is the church, right? If I'm lucky enough, maybe I'll find some. Uh Oh, there's some books here. Yeah, cool. Some canned beans and canned sardines. That'll do. Right. I've maybe waited. Cooking for beginners. I suppose I could eat cooking for beginners because sooner or later down the road, you're looking at. Um, I'll leave it for when, if I can find something more. Um, I'm just going to eat these canned beans, I think. Like a bowl of beans. As I say, I'm looking for the advanced uh, uh, 
Advanced Carpentry Book. Let's see if I can get to here. It's a church locked up tight here. That's a big fat net. There we go. Might buy the piano. Kind of hoping that there may be something in here. No. Okay. Well, I suppose what that means now is just want to say thank you very much for watching. If you like what you like, press the like button. If you dislike what you dislike, press the dislike button. But please pop something down in the comment section. Let me know how I can improve my content for you. If you like what you see, why not press that subscribe button? If you super duper like it, why not press that bell icon so you get updated every time I upload new content to YouTube. As usual, I just say that uh, all it takes for you guys is just a click. But for me and the out. YouTube algorithm, it is massive. So please press something. <laughs> but no pressure. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Bye bye.